Hi, everyone, and welcome to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. Wendy has spent the last two years helping women with various stages of endometriosis to heal naturally after putting her condition into remission. After her own healing success from stage four endometriosis and adenomyosis, she's inspired to heal others, and her goal is to help some of the 175 million women know that there is another way other than painkillers, drugs, or surgery. This is the place to be for real talk with real people for real results so you can learn how to heal your endometriosis naturally. Please note that the opinions expressed in this program may represent options but are not a substitute for proper medical care. Before starting any new healthcare program, we recommend you consult with a health professional. Hey everyone, it's uh, Wendy K. Laidlaw here from Heal Endometriosis Naturally. I am so pleased today to be chatting to Diana from Canada who was on the 12-week foundation program and the 10-week advanced program, I think almost a year ago now. And it's wonderful to be able to catch up with her 12 months on and see how she's doing. And I thought it would be a great, uh, great for our listeners to hear in her own words what this this amazing journey that she's been on and where she is now, you know, after after these programs. So welcome, Diana. Hi, Wendy. (laughs) Hello, everyone. (laughs) Great to have you here. How are you today? I'm good, motivated and uplifted and I'm ready to start the day. (laughs) Fantastic. Well, thank you for for coming on and chatting with us. And I know the listeners um, have been really, I've had many emails from from women who've been so inspired by your video and your story and your podcast before. So um, it's wonderful to have you on again to hear where you are 12 months on. Perhaps you could give us a bit more kind of, you know, a, a, a bit, you know, what's been happening since you, you last were on the programs? Um, so I noticed that with the program, um, I, the biggest issue was I didn't have any confidence. Um, and I think that's linked with not eating properly and the pain um, that I was in. But as the course went on, I started to doubt myself still. But it wasn't until the seventh weekend that I started to feel um, more confident in myself and feeling that, you know, I do look good or I am going to have a good day instead of being completely negative. And I feel that's where the journal really helps me. And I still do it to this day. Um, that's awesome. why I have- <laughs> <laughs> so I still have, I have my journal and then I have my little prayer journal. So I have two journals that I do, and I feel like having that alone time for yourself and uh, really having that quiet time um, helps you um, get closer with yourself um, and like spiritually and mentally and emotionally. And um, over a course of time, I remember thinking, oh, this sucks. I have to do this journal every day, but <laughs> now I still do it. And it really helps me when I'm frustrated and I'm in anxiety. I just put it all down. And it, it really helps me. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's fantastic. And, and what, what, what are you physically? Because obviously, you know, obviously throughout the programs, I mean, when, when, you, when you listen back to your original interview, you, you were in high levels of pain. You were having such poor quality of life. You were struggling to get to work every day. But, of course, you were so strong and stoic. You did anyway. But, you know, it was a real struggle for you. So what? where are you? And then, obviously, throughout the program, you reduced and then eliminated the pain and symptoms. So where are you now? How is your body? Well, right now, my body's thanking me because I feel so good. I absolutely have no pain. To this day, I have absolutely no pain and it's just such an eye-opener because it it makes you feel different because before you're always in pain especially not in your time of the month oh my gosh it was dreadful and now it's like it's just a breeze my time of the month comes and it's just like okay (laughs) like it's like it's just it's still hard for me to recognize that because Unfortunately, I did get off the bandwagon a little bit. Um, So sometimes I'll eat a a little bit of pizza or I'll have a little bit of gluten. But still, all in all, like compared to before, I like my body isn't hurting. Like it's Mm -hmm. not hurting. I still get a little bloating here and there, but like it's just 
incredible because even my period has gone from like 12 days to like four days now. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Well done you, Diana. I mean, well, and it's so lovely to hear, you know, you say that at the beginning you didn't have much confidence and really to hear the confidence now and even how you speak about your body. And, and, and I think, and that's why I wanted to chat to you as well, you know, 12 months on, because this is not just a 12 week foundation program or a 10 week if, if you need it. it. It's like a lifelong skill to help keep tuning into your body and learning how to, to read the signs, learning to join the dots as to, well, what's causing the bloating or what's causing. But the fact that you're having even four day periods now is, is amazing. I mean, it's just like a, a breeze now, isn't it? Compared to how it was like an ordeal and an endurance test to have a monthly cycle before. Well, you didn't even have a monthly cycle. You literally were kind of continually consumed with endometriosis and, and bleeding and symptoms. So that's amazing. Yeah. And I think the other thing, so with healthy eating and um, following your protocol, I think it's really, really helped me. And then I think what else gave me confidence and I feel like has really helped me too is um, I had this like little revelation, I feel like, um, or maybe assurance. So um, I went to church the one day and something in me was like, you know what, Wendy, you know, and everyone around me keeps saying, hey, you know, you need to ask for help. So not always, you know, do it yourself, but ask for help, you know. Um, so I was like, I'm going to ask for prayers. So I told this lady my the, the condition and was going into my third surgery at the time uh, just for a checkup um, and see what's going on. And she told me that she had a revelation saying, you know what, you're going to go into that surgery and you're just going to lie there and feel good because I just had a vision that you, you were in a field feeling free, knowing nothing bad's going to happen. So then when I went into my surgery the next day, I told the doctor, hey, can you give me a picture of what this endometriosis looks like? I have no idea. <laughs> and I want to know if I still have any or I just want to check up to make sure. Yeah. And he came out later. He woke me up and I'll never forget it. He gave me a picture of um, my uterus and my ovaries. And he said, you need to frame this. And I just looked at him and he's like, you don't have endometriosis. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so at that moment, I was like, through all my hard work, and through God and prayer and everything and journaling and everything. I just, I was so, I couldn't believe it. That's amazing. And all your hard work, that's just, and, and it was great when you emailed through the before and after photographs because it's not often that I get, I think Joanna has provided photographs as well, but it's not often we get the before and after photographs because normally it's just the reduction of symptoms and pain and then you're like okay well I'm not suffering anymore but to be able to get those sort of photographic proof how did it feel when you were when the doctor was saying that to you it felt I felt like all these chains broke down and I thought of that vision that lady had too because she said you're being a field you know you picture yourself in a field and just flowers around and the wind going and you just have this sense of freedom and that's literally what I felt. I just felt like all these bricks just came right down. And it just feels, feels good, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's what a lovely analogy. What a lovely picture of you being in a field. Because um, I don't know if you've watched your old interview, but it would be probably interesting, probably quite emotional for you to watch it because you talked about how you felt like you were in a cage before. And what you oh. wanted what a different kind of imagery of being locked in a cage and you felt like this program opened the door for you, opened the cage door for you and allowed you a way out of it. And now you're, you know, you're feeling like, you know, you're outdoors in a field and, and like you're free, you know, you're broken free from the condition because you understand it. You've been able to put it into remission yourself because you've had, you know, that confidence that you talked about that you didn't have before you know, you really have that confidence to understand what's going on in your body and that you have the power to influence what's happening inside your body. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's an ongoing process. So every day is a new day. 
<clears throat> and we keep on growing. So I feel like some days I still have those days where it's like, oh, you know, it's it's so it's so hard to comprehend to be without pain. Uh-huh. Like you ju- you just sit there and you kind of contemplate, but then you feel, well, it's a new day. I should, you know, be positive and. Uh, do what you do. So if you journal, journal, or if you need to go for a nice walk, then go for a walk. Or for me, it's like the journals and the Bible and just everything. Yeah. And it's really, it's really changed my life. I feel. Oh, oh, I'm so glad. But, but even, even hearing you saying that, you know, you, you kind of, um, it's quite profound. I was speaking, interviewing someone the other week there. And I think what, what a lot of women with endometriosis don't realize and what I'm even hearing from yourself and, and even from my own journey is it's decades of pain that women have been in. Decades. Not just a couple of days or a couple of hours or even a couple of months or anything. This is decades. And, I, and I've, I've joked about this before about how women with endometriosis need a medal you know, for bravery, for, you know, for, for going to work on their hands and knees when they can barely kind of, you know, barely get through the, you know, through the day, you know, and, and the, the, the amount of pain is indescribable. And I, I can only really kind of equate it to appendicitis type pain, you know, for prolonged periods of time over decades. I mean, that's quite a profound thing to say, isn't it? You know, and I can hear with you, you're kind of like, I'm not in pain. It's like you're, you're still trying to deal with almost the trauma of this long-term tra- uh, pain, you know, that you've been in for, for such a long period of time. And this, this like new awakening as to kind of your possibilities now. Yes, that's exactly it. I think the best word for that is trauma because you go through that kind of traumatic pain for so long. And, you know, it's not only the trauma, but it's the, it's the doctors and what they put you through and the medications and all these um, domino effects that happen with it. And I feel like it's just hard to comprehend, but it's a good feeling though. (laughs) Makes it feel good. Well, it's a great feeling now, but it also, I hope gives you uh, perspective and more compassion for, for where you've come from. And, And I read a really lovely story, which, um, I think really kind of matches what the women who come through the programs, you know, it's like a hero's journey. You know, you start on this quest and you're terrified when you start because you're like, this is like going rogue from the doctors. This is like going on a new path and I've not been here before. And, you know, what, what does that mean? Um, and then, you know, you obviously that, you know, you, you have your bad days, you have two steps forward, one step back, but you keep going on this journey with your little backpack on and you're like learning all this new information. Um, and, and then, you know, you, you, you're open to the mentorship, you're open to the coaching, open to the learning, the education, and suddenly like planting seeds in the soil, you start to feel the roots take hold and you start to see the shoots come up through the soil. And, and look at you now, it's amazing. You know, you're just like, this beautiful oak tree now you've got the strength you've got the roots you know you you have this um, power back so what what was I, i'm curious about the the doctor so he was he uh, did he give any credit to you and the program for um, for putting the condition in remission or so i went to my this is the sad part so the so he congratulated me but he lost so then i went back to my doctor here um, in Guelph, Ontario. And, um, I told him and his feedback told me that I'm, I'm very blessed to not deal with him anymore because, um, I was like, Oh yes, you know, like I don't have it. Like I'm so excited, you know, all these things. And I looked at his paper. He's like, well, that's good. He's like, guess I'm not uh, giving you any medication. And he walked out the door. Oh gosh. I, I mean, I think you've just said it a couple of minutes ago, I have to go through decades of pain, and but it's also the treatment, having to fight to be believed and trying to get some kind of help and support. Yet, mm-hmm. you know, to be treated like that is just uh, unacceptable. You think that somebody in that profession would be so happy for you, so delighted, curious even, you know, um, curious as to kind of, well, what have you been doing, Diana, so I can help other patients with the same condition, you know, t- to do it. So, I mean, how did that leave you feeling? Made me feel very relieved. Yeah. I think I with doctors, I had a lot of anxiety because I knew deep down 
that they're not doing the best job. And then when I told him, I, it just, on it, his facial expression, just said it all. Mm-hmm. And he just let me leave. And he tried to book me another appointment in a couple months because he was thinking, oh, maybe it's temporary so I can give her more medication. But I canceled that appointment. Yeah. That was the best feeling. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. And I think sometimes I know myself on my journey, I had to go back to my doctor to say, look, I've got better. I'm getting well. Like, you've got to share this. You know, don't keep this. You don't have to have a life full of painkillers, drugs and surgery. There is another way. And I was lucky that my doctor did listen to me, but I'd had to change surgeries before then to, to get someone. And he was starting to, you know, use the same sort of protocols with his patients with the same results. But it's very disheartening. And no wonder you had anxiety because you'd have been going to somebody that you had a preconceived idea that was wanting to help you. But actually, I think there's other influences there, like, you know, other motivators there rather than actually wanting to help you get well. Mm-hmm. It's really sad. So, I mean, obviously, it was a, a financial investment for you to come through the foundation program and advanced program. And, and obviously, I think when, when people start, you know, when they look at the price to, to come into the program, they might be thinking, oh, it's, you know, I don't know if I can afford it. What would you say to those women? Because I know you yourself, you waited a year before you started working with me. You know, you bought the book and you tried to do everything on your own. And then obviously, when you came into the programs, that's when you really started to make the progress. And I mean, you're just a wonderful glowing result of, you know, what what can be achieved. But what would you be saying to those women who are maybe like, I can't afford to do this? And, you know, what what would you say to them? I feel like if you say to yourself where I was saying, you know, I can't afford it. But if you look at it the long run, how much money are you spending on medications from the doctors or how much money are you spending on different things like eating, for example? Well, you could save that money up. So I waited a year because I didn't exactly know if I should do it. So I did get Wendy's book and I remember reading through and I was like, I need to do this course because like you related so much to me, everything that was written in there. It's like, Oh my goodness. Like, this is incredible. I read that book. So quickly, I read it a couple times and I still do because it's just so good. And I really feel like Wendy's course really opens your eyes. Like not only does it provide information, but it's it provides action. So it actually transforms you. So, you know, from journaling to doing things, having activities to do, I really feel like it's worth the money because it is a life changer. It's not some course you're going to school for, for, for I don't know, uh, math or something. It's a course that should be invested in because it's really knowledgeable and it opens your eyes from, you know, uh, products to food to your um, body. And it's just, it's really interesting And it really keeps you on track because Wendy does a really good job on um, following up and seeing how you're doing. So the the foundational program, like the 12 weeks, is is worth every dollar. It's really worth every dollar. And I really feel like now looking back on it, it was a really good investment. Even at the time, if it's like, oh, it's too much money, but – if it's helping your health in the long run and potential to get away from doctors and, you know, changing your life. Yeah. It's worth it. (laughs) I would highly encourage it. (laughs) Well, absolutely. And I know myself when I was on my journey, I was like, Oh, I can't afford this and I can't afford that. And, and, and I think women with endometriosis tend to be so caring of other people that they don't tend to value themselves very much. So the idea of even spending money on them on, on ourselves is, is, somehow somehow anxiety producing anyway I know when I was on holiday with my children I had to write I wrote a pros and cons list about whether or not I could afford a 35 pound bikini and I'm just like this is ridiculous Wendy you know so the idea of investing money in ourselves can sometimes feel almost kind of like you know you know not selfish but kind of overindulgent but I think if you've endured decades of pain like you and I have we owe it to ourselves you know, life, you know, I'm 50 next month and I'm like, I spent, 
you know, 33 years, three decades with this condition. And it's completely affected every single aspect of my life, you know, and I, and, and like yourself, you know, you're, you're just so wonderfully young and you took this brave step, you embarked on this journey and you're free of it now. So, you know, the fact that you're able to kind of think ahead and, and plan now confidently, which you couldn't have done before because the condition dominated every single aspect of your life. So I do understand that, you know, spending money in any capacity on ourselves as women can make us feel like, oh, you know, it, it's why are we doing it? But we absolutely owe it to ourselves. And it's great to hear that you felt that it was worth worthwhile because it is it is an investment investing in your body to learn to understand i heard somebody the other day say oh they were at conflict with their body i think it was lena denham who sadly had a hysterectomy and and she was saying you know she was at conflict with her body and i and i hear i know from my own journey and other women who come through the programs they learn to befriend their body to understand their body and how would you say that your relationship is with your body now I think I'm starting to understand it. So, like I said, now I know, like before the program, I remember thinking, I didn't really know so I get bloated or I'm in pain because you're so used to it. But now, um, through the whole journey, I feel like now I can recognize when my body's being bloated, like I feel like I'm more aware of it. Like, oh, like my stomach isn't feeling good or, oh, I don't normally feel like that or... I actually feel like I have a lot of energy now. So I think a lot of awareness has happened and not, not as much neglect. Cause I feel like before when you're in so much pain, yeah. you're just like, oh, whatever. It's my body. It's my body conflict. And you know, like no confidence, but now it feels like it feels like a new body. It yeah. feels like, Oh, I can actually tell if I'm a little bloated or, oh, I actually feel good today. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's amazing. I mean, even as you say the word neglect, because when you are in so much pain, you're, you're just getting through the hour, the morning or the day, let alone trying to even understanding what that whole meaning of self-care is. And, and for the 10-week advanced program, you went into the 10-week advanced program. What, what did you feel that that did for you? How did that help and support you in, on your journey? Uh, of, of growth as well I feel like um, the journaling and more of the spirituality um, aspect of it um, really helped me because I don't feel like there was enough of it in the first advanced program but I feel like in the second part it branched out a lot um, and I feel like that's where it really helped me spiritually and mentally emotionally um, with the meditations and the um, and the readings and the articles and the interviews, I feel like it's really, really, it opened my, my eyes for sure. Um, but it really has helped me spiritually to this day. <laughs> to this day, I feel like it's really helped my confidence. Oh, I'm so glad. I know even just speaking to you, I can, I can see and hear the growth of confidence within yourself, which is, which is worth so much in itself, isn't it? And how do you feel emotionally? How, how, how did the program, because it's, you know, obviously we, we go through different stages and it's a multimodal approach to, to healing um, endometriosis. I, I refer to it as the five P's now, five toxic P's. There's the produce, which is a the food. There's the products. There is the property or environment. There's the past and then there's the people. You know, there's many layers to, to the healing. How, how, how have you felt in these past 12 months that that has um, kind of helped support you in your life, you know, emotionally as well? I think emotionally um, people have seen a difference. Um, you know, before I was very um, down and never smiling, but now people are saying that I'm more positive and emotionally um, interactive and social and wanting to do things and going out. That's a really big one. Um, before I used to just want to sit here and be depressed, but after the program and now I actually want to go do stuff. Like if there's the big thing right now is the woodworking workshops here where you make your own sign. So, you know, I'll even go on my own if I don't have anyone to go with. And this is where 
I feel like I'm starting to realize who my real friends are and who's, who aren't. Um, yeah. So I think I'm becoming more aware that way because I feel like my friends are really a big part in that too. Um, so emotionally, like I just feel excited. I feel like before it was a roller coaster going through the program because I did have my ups and downs. Yeah. Um, but that reassurance through time has really made me feel like, oh, I can, you know what, why not? Why can't I go do this woodworking sign? Or why can't I do that lip gloss um, DIY program? So a lot of it is, why not? Like my emotions are on board. I think I still have the off day. Yeah. But I feel, I feel good. I feel like there's possibilities I never to lose hope. So, absolutely. Oh, well, that's amazing. And 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 you know, we we talk about all the different elements that that help you know, heal anyone's body, be it a human or an animal. And I know that you know we, we've even applied. I know myself from my own uh, animals and pets. I've applied the, these basic principles as well. So, what about your your own dog as well? You were saying had even benefited from the program, the basic principles and protocols. Yes. Um, so my, like, like us, I took my, my dog, not to the best vet. Um, and he misdiagnosed him. So I started thinking, oh, well, maybe he should stop eating the food that I used to buy him and start feeding him organic chicken and uh, organic peas and chickpeas and organic rice. Um, just taking those kind of things, even herbs, supplements. So a vitamin C, like a natural supplement, um, or other supplements like um, ashwanga herb, things like that. And I've seen an improvement in him. He seems to be more alive. But now he's even recognizing that, oh, wait a second. I don't want to put his bowl of his dog food beside the food that I cooked him and obviously he went for the chicken and the rice and potatoes compared to the food. Like he won't even touch the store bought food anymore. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see because I'm going to go back for testing soon. Um, I found this incredible lady. She has the same kind of values and beliefs. Um, and she's very old, but she has so much wisdom and knowledge. And she always said to never get dog food either. And, um, to really take care of your dog. So invest in him emotionally and physically and mentally. Take him out for walks. Um, mm -hmm. You know, good, take good care of him because he's a little loving creature and um, it's our duty to take care of our little, little guys too. But mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see, but I've seen improvements. He's on um, this liver cleanse as well. Um, so it's interesting to see how... As I go through it, I actually notice that on my dog as well, and I feel really blessed for that. Yeah. Well, I think that's it. Once we have our eyes opened, uh, once, we're, once we reduce, eliminate the pain and symptoms, we can start, you know, really being aware of what's going on in, in on and around our environment that not only affects us, our family, but also our pets. Um, so it, we, we, once... Once we were open to that, we can never be close to all the amazing, I say amazing, not amazing, the in, amazing impact that all these toxins have on our body and can make us ill. But um, So you've also created a blog as well. So I wonder if you might share the name of your blog if anyone wants to go and um, read your blog, which you know shares all your, uh, your discoveries and, and your journey. Um, Yes. Um, so I decided to start my own blog. Um, it's nothing big, but I thought I would just share my experiences with women around the world too that um, suffer from endometriosis. It's called Hopefully Beautiful. So the name kind of gives it away. So to be hopeful, right? It makes you feel you're, you're beautiful. You're beautiful either way, but you're more beautiful when you're hopeful, so hopeful through eating, as Wendy said, through um, mentally, through spiritually, connecting with God, um, eating right, um, having the right foods going into you, um, and just having that support. Um, so it's really interesting. Um, I do have, <clears throat> I do have an Instagram, and my Instagram, what I'm aiming for is, um, it's it's just pictures of different foods 
or different products yeah. um, that I feel that are good for women with endometriosis. Um, so that's something I feel like benefits uh, people especially too. Because uh, sometimes you get in that loop of, oh, I don't know. I don't know what products to eat. I don't know what's good and what's not. Um, so I think that's kind of cool as well. <laughs> yeah. No, well, that's great. It's great to be able to use your experience again and to help other women with the condition as well. So, um, so wholly beautiful, did you say? Wholly beautiful. Oh, well, that's great. Well, look, so thank you so much for taking the time to come and share your journey to almost 12 months on. And I think that a lot of women, again, will find this so inspiring because uh, and it was wonderful what you said at the beginning in that, you know, some people might do a program or a course, but this is not just a kind of flash in the pan course or program. This is really embarking on a new journey, on a new pathway. So if, you know, the painkillers, the drugs, the surgery has not worked for you and or worse are making you more ill or more sick, then don't feel you have to keep sort of beating down that path. It's, it's you know, an, an endless spiral going deeper and deeper. Um, and I think hearing stories like yours really do make women think, you know, they don't realize. And of course, when they start to look for alternatives or look out uh, with the normal, they're scared. I know I was too. I mean, there was nothing. I had to create all this because there was nothing. And everything that I did, I was scared. Everything that I, I kind of embarked upon, like I was scared. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? But equally, I knew with each new step that I took, the stronger I got, the more confident I got, the more results I was getting to where I am now and able to share. So thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And it's, it's, I, I really want to see how proud I am of you. You've come so far and you've been through so much and you're a testament to so many women. Um, I'm very, very inspiring. So thank you so much. No problem. And I do want to thank you one deeper everything you've done with your support, especially when you don't have much support. So you've been a huge help. I want to thank you for everything. And that course is worth everything. It really, really is. Um, I just want to reiterate that because it's definitely, it's worth it. I want to thank Wendy. I want to thank God. I want to thank, I want to think to where I am right now because if it wasn't for you and if it wasn't for God, I don't know where I would be. I would be in a cage. I would still be in that cage. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like a bird, so <laughs> I feel oh, good. That's amazing. And I know I, I feel – uh, it's interesting you touched on the spiritual aspect because I feel very much guided to this point, you know, and for anyone that's listening, you know, I'm very much, you know, into prayer and guidance and spirituality because I think – there's, there's a lot of bad out there in the world, but there's also a lot of good if, if you seek for it. And, and I think, um, as you know, we're trying to build this, um, I now refer to as an endo boss community, you know, people who are bosses of their endometriosis and endo bosses coming together to create this new movement, this grass movement of, of women who are really taking back power and control and have the same values, the same morals and the same beliefs that we really can, you know, start a sort of rippling effect. To, to provide that support and direction and education for women because that's the key thing. I think once women, you know, we're all conditioned, you know, to, to kind of go, right, okay, well, we just go down the medical route, but that's all if that's all we know. And then we reach a point where we think, no, there has to be something else. So it's wonderful to be part of this and this growing movement because there's more and more women coming in and it's wonderful to be able to see, as you say, use the word transformation, and um, I think you've you've just done so amazingly well. And I, as I say, I'm just so impressed by what you've done. And thank you for your kind words because uh, it's so nice because there's some days I have bad days too. And I'm like, you know, it, these kind of interviews keep me going, keep me kind of thinking, yep, yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm impacting the women in a positive way. I'm, I'm leading them out of that dark tunnel that they were in before in, into another one. So... Just you keep doing what you're doing because you're doing absolutely amazing. And maybe we could have another chat 24 months down line, like every year you can come on <laughs> and share, yeah. your, share your progress and share what's happening in your life and with your blog and with your work and stuff as well. And just be that other yeah. shining light. Because I think some women, when, you know, they hear other stories, they're like, oh, I'm going to be the one that's not going to work for. Like, this is not going to work for me. Um, and actually, just even just hearing you talk about your confidence 
you know kind of what's happening in your body now. You have enough information, education to understand what's happening. And I think once your confidence starts to grow and develop, it can only just get better. Yeah. And everything Wendy says and her courses, you won't hear it from the doctor. So it's worth it. (laughs) It's really worth it. I would highly recommend it. Well, look, thank you so much, Diane. I really appreciate it. You're an absolute star. And um, and if anyone wants to uh, learn more about this, I understand if you're feeling frightened and scared and you're in lots of pain, it can feel like really overwhelming. But listen to your instincts, do things slowly so you don't feel frightened. And the first thing I would suggest is if you want to get a free paperback copy of my book called Heal Endometriosis Naturally Without Painkillers, Drugs or Surgery, it's worth $14.99 on Amazon. Or you can get um, a, a free copy from me on my website, which is healendometriosisnaturallybook.com. And I just ask you to pay the shipping and handling, which is seven ninety five, and I ship all over the world. I make nothing on those books. It costs me money, but it's my gift to the community. I want this information to be in people's hands so they can read it. And, and just even just start, you know, even if there's question marks, just starting to believe what's possible. Now, if you've read the book, and you've tried and you've hit a wall or you've slid back or you fall off the wagon, don't feel that it's a sign of weakness to reach out for help and support. Please do reach out for support. There's the 12-week foundation program that this wonderful Diane has been on and there's the 10-week advanced program if you need it as well. And you can go on and read all the testimonials, listen to the testimonial videos, but there's a free web class webinar that you can attend as well. Um, So if you just go to healendometriosisnaturally.com and there's details there. But thank you so much, Diana. You're an absolute star. I really appreciate your time and uh, look forward to chatting with you soon. Sounds good. Thank you, Wendy. (laughs) Thanks for listening to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and rate us. If you're interested in learning more, you can download your top five jumpstart tips at healendometriosisnaturally.com and jump on the VIP email list. Remember to keep you number one. The world needs a healthy you.